Hi, welcome to the part 10 of this playlist. We are looking at real certification questions for AWS Solution Architect Professional. So today we will look at questions linked with these two topics, Direct Connect and Data Sync. Please hit the subscribe and the like button. For previous questions, do refer parts one to nine of this playlist. Now let's jump into the questions. The first one says, like, what bandwidths are supported by AWS Direct Connect? So first, let us have a look at what is Direct Connect. So suppose you have one on-premises servers, and then you have AWS Cloud. This is your AWS Cloud. Okay, so usually we plug direct connect here, here, we plug it here, this green arrow, so that on-prem can talk to AWS Cloud. The question is saying, what is the bandwidth of this green arrow, 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 what is the bandwidth? So I will show you one more diagram. So this is your on-premises data center. You plug Direct Connect here, here, and then this is your AWS region. So you have Direct Connect in between for a two-way communication. So here, if you see the first option, it is in MBPS. So this is wrong. Nowadays, everything supported is in GBPS. So now these three options, they have GBPS mentioned. Now, it is not so high, like B, is wrong it does not go from 10 gbps to 100 gbps okay and it it like i told the moment you see mbps you just have to mark it wrong so we are left with this one d so i just tried to search this on the web and in this website i'm getting it like 1 gbps to 10 gbps so that is what supported and even if you see this documentation here we are talking about like dedicated connections which are 1 gbps 10 gbps and 100 gbps ports so basically if you uh, see like for hosted connections for hosted connections it just extends up to 10 gbps so this would be my final answer now let's jump into the next question. This is a bit longer. So the crux of this question is you got a Windows server on-prem and you want a like for a like, an Apple for Apple solution in AWS. So they have mentioned four options. So what I got to do is I have an on-prem environment and I got a Windows uh, file system on-prem. I want to move to AWS and I want a solution for this portion, this portion. So what is a like for a like replacement of Windows systems, file systems in a AWS world? Is it EFS? If you see this two options here, so these two options we see here amazon efs and efs always remember efs would not work it does not work with windows os that's the thing so which os does efs work with it only works with linux os so thumb rule time for a thumb rule whenever you see efs you think of linux efs does not mean Windows. So what I would do here, is I would just blindly strike these two options because our question is looking for a Windows-based workload, a replacement of the Windows file servers. Now I'm left with A and B. Let's look at A. A is a solution that gives me a storage kit. If you see this, it is telling me storage gateway, plug a storage gateway. Where do we plug a storage gateway? 
we usually plug storage gateway here okay and always remember what is the purpose of storage gateway it is a solution if you are falling short of space on-prem world you are falling short of storage you plug that solution storage gateway here and move the remaining new files into s3 okay that is what storage gateways are used for now this solution it tells us to use storage gateway but towards the fag end on the right hand side it does not say what is it going to use it just says a new file gateway what is it is it fs fsx is it efs since a is not giving me a clue of like what is the replacement of the windows file server i am telling this is wrong and i am only left with one answer and that answer is fsx so always remember fsx means windows os now ain't fsx supporting linux os so i'll show you this documentation what happens is you use fsx for windows file servers okay but you also have fsx for luster this works so fsx for luster equals linux operating systems so what does fsx do is you can launch run and scale feature rich high performance file systems in a few clicks so it is just like your windows file system but you can launch it here in a few click now fsx for windows file server it's a fully managed file storage built on windows servers and remember one thing and this is a keyword please pay attention it supports smb protocols so whenever we talk about windows file system always remember that we're talking about smb protocols okay and this is the uh, the flow here for example you have fsx for windows here you can create the fsx for windows file server file systems here you can configure the file shares you can connect to your file shares and then you can run your applications where the data resides in these file shares so what is the advantage is the first thing is you can migrate just like our question says you want to migrate and get rid of your on-prem file servers that is something which you can do you can accelerate your hybrid workloads okay and who are the customers using this emirates epic cyber agent these are the customers who are using fsx for windows file server some of the customers it's not like just four customers are using this product lots of customers are using these products but these four customers have provided a testimony this is a testimony this is a testimony this is a testimony and the other thing that is important here is data sync what is data sync so data sync is used to sync data between on-prem and cloud and that is exactly what this option is doing it is syncing the data on a daily basis between on-prem and your fsx that's it for this part please subscribe to this channel hit the like button do not forget to refer parts one through nine on this playlist guys today we covered questions linked with these two topics stay tuned for more such informative content see you in the next part